Mountains covered in heavy snow, glaciers piled up into mountains, life here is tough for border guards, they are used to exposed to the weather and brave the wind and dew, for a life that on this day soldier Parker was sent to the town to buy supplies, crossing the snowy mountains, the road came into view. He ran along, reaching the town in no time, when he returned, the sky was dusky. At night, he patrolled around the post according to his duty roster, idly looking into the distance, where the snow-capped mountains and the darkness of the night were reflected in a beautiful painting. As he was lost in thought, there was a humming sound in the grass by the roadside, driven by curiosity. He pushed aside the grass to, and saw a few pups waiting to be fed, looking at their helpless eyes. Parker's love arose spontaneously. He took the pups back to the post, watching them under the light. An experienced soldier said, They are not dogs. They are wolves. Hearing this, the soldiers were lost in thought. Should we keep them? Seeing that everyone was silent, Parker said. Keep them for now. We can let them go when they grow up. Under the careful care of the soldiers, the wolf cubs thrived. When they grew up, they not only accompanied the soldiers on guard duty, but also scare off enemy troops in a surprise attack. What is this all about? How did wolf cubs and warriors live together in harmony? Can wolves really repay kindness? Let's go to today's story. Dot of soldiers and wolves. Hargulan Range is 800 kilometers long dot and 240 kilometers wide, with an average altitude of about 5,500 meters. The air here is thin, and it is normal to be cold in winter here. The border guards at the post are burdened with a heavy mission, shed their blood and sacrifice their lives dot for the cause of border defense. Undaunted by hardships dot and heartaches, the winter here is bad, the summer is very different, thanks to the high altitude, the summer weather here is pleasant dot and cool, generally speaking, spring is the season when everything is reviving dot and full of vitality, but here is the summer, I am the summer. The area around the post will be very busy, the soldiers occasionally encounter wolves, wolves are aggressive animals, but they are also protected animals, the soldiers in the garrison can only repel them dot can't injure them, which bothers them. That night, it was Parker's turn on duty. He and some of his comrades were walking around the post. Suddenly, there was a whimpering sound from the grass at the side of the road. Out of curiosity, he leaned down to check it out that as it was dark, they could not get a good look at the animals. These must be some dogs, they might be abandoned. A soldier said, his words that were echoed by the other soldiers. After the shift change, they came to the dormitory dot and laid the pups out in the light. These are not dogs, with this look, they must be wolves, a seasoned warrior spoke. Hearing his words, the soldiers were puzzled at this point. They had the same question in mind should we keep them, at the same time, several wolf cubs slowly dot opened their eyes in the light, they stood up, all fluffy dot how adorable. Seeing them, Parker suggested. They are so cute, we can adopt them for now. And let them go when they're older. No problem, I think it works. After the soldiers conferred, the wolf cubs stayed in the post. The conditions at the border post were so difficult that even the rice dot cooked in a large pot was half cooked, not to mention eat meat, I in order for the pups to thrive. The soldiers of cookhouse had opened a small kitchen dot and cooked rice for them in a pressure cooker. Only rice was not enough. The soldiers also gave them some of the meat sent from home to eat, and so dot the pups grow bigger and bigger. From time to time they would play with the soldiers, later. Two female wolves would appear at the entrance of the post from time to time. They only watched from afar dot and never attacked. Once the cubs were playing in front of the post, when the mother wolves barked, the cubs immediately ran to the sound. Since then, the cubs had never returned. The soldiers had expected this day. So they did not care. On this day, Parker was once again tasked with shopping in town. On his return, he found five or six wolves stalking him. He touched his belt and said to himself, I don't have my weapon. What should I do? As he thought about it, the wolves surrounded him. He closed his eyes. 
waiting for his death. However, a minute later, instead of attacking, the wolves were licking his cheeks with their tongues. Now Parker was confused. What the hell was going on, seeing no further movement from the wolves? Parker got up and headed in the direction of the post. On the way, the wolves followed. Until Parker entered the gate of the post. At night, Parker was talking to his comrades. He happened to mention this topic. After hearing his words, his comrades all said they had experienced it. The experienced soldier said, These are the same wolves we used to raise. Do wolves know how to return favors? Several warriors expressed their views. Some thought the wolf was returning the favor. Others thought it was a coincidence. Since then, the wolves had frequented the entrance to the post. Some kindly soldiers would throw out a few ham sausages. The wolves would gobble them up. Then they would turn their backs on the soldiers and be on sentry duty. Over the months together, the soldiers found that the wolves were friendly to them even if they were stroked on their head. The wolves would not react I in time. The warrior's relationship with the wolves sublimated dot and no matter how cold or hot it was, whenever a squad went out on patrol, the wolves were always there to escort them I in normal times. When the soldiers were training, the wolves would stand at a distance. Like guards of the post point one day, when Parker spoke to the head of the cooking team about this, the team leader explained that animals have feelings too, wolves are persistent and single-minded. You've got their approval when you first save them. At this moment, I in their minds. The soldiers of the post are capable and qualified to lead them. At his words, Parker nodded with seeming understanding and then gobbled up the buns. There was one great danger at the post, the ice caves, I in the summer there is not enough snow. The ice caves are easily spotted by the human eye. But in winter, when the snow and ice accumulate, the ice caves are concealed. What's more, the rugged surface of the mountain range makes the ice caves even harder to spot. Normally, the soldiers need to be tied together with ropes 0.5 meters apart from each other, only then. Will the soldiers in front not affect those behind them if they fall into the ice hole dot and the rest of the soldiers will have a chance to rescue them with wolves it all changed they were agile dot and had a good sense of smell dot. on every patrol the wolves would take the lead every time they found an ice cave they would scratch a mark with their paws with their help the risk of injury to the soldiers was much less there is a chinese saying if you often walk by the river, you can't always keep your shoes dry. Once a wolf fell into a hole in the ice while exploring. The hole was full of sharp ice spikes. The wolf was sure to die when he fell in. The snow was wet and slippery. The wolf's body kept sinking, with some parts already poked by ice spikes. Seeing this, the soldiers, undaunted by the danger, went straight forward and pulled the wolf out with a rope. When they arrived at the post, the soldiers rushed to medicate the wolf da, which saved its life. Da. On one occasion, da, a soldier went to a frozen river to fetch water. Due to the thinness of the ice, da, he accidentally fell into the water. The river was bitter and deadly cold. That he lost consciousness in the lower half of his body, but he didn't give up. Da. He cried out in the hope of attracting attention. I, in fact, the wolf had found out about his fall into the river a few minutes ago. At this very moment, it was dashing towards him with the soldiers from the post. In the aftermath, the fallen soldier caught wind chills, but saved his life. The area around the border has always been unsettled. Smuggling is a regular occurrence. Soldiers' duty is to guard the border and stop smugglers. Smugglers are reckless, they often carry anti personnel weapons which seriously threatens the lives of soldiers. With the wolves, all this has changed. The wolves have set up their dens around the border, and whenever there is smuggling, the wolves will come forward and stop it. Now, this pack of wolves around the post has become a nightmare for smugglers. With the wolves' keen sense of smell and hearing, not to mention the smugglers. Not even a fly could cross the border. The behavior of the wolves attracted the attention of the enemy. They wondered, how did the enemy soldiers train these wolves? They are on guard and sentry duty day and night. It's unbelievable.
In order to master this technique of taming the wolves, the enemy was trying to find out what was going on in every way possible. Point one night, that a small group of soldiers from the enemy frontier line came lurking. They stopped at the bottom of a snowy slope close to the wolves and quietly formulated a plan. They thought they were in the dark, but Parker had already spotted the difference. Parker thought of watching their movements first, but considering the wolves would be hurt by them, he pressed the alarm. Soon, the soldiers at the post were on war footing. Through the infrared binoculars, Parker and the squad leader spotted the sneaky figure of the enemy soldiers. Somehow, strange smiles appeared on their faces. It turned out that they were not the only ones who had spotted the enemy soldiers. The wolves had also spotted them early on. They were waiting for an opportunity, waiting for enemy soldiers to approach. When they got close, the wolves quickly launched a surprise attack. Dozens of wolves surround them from all around the mountain. Seeing this, their screams resounded through the mountains. The enemy soldiers were so frightened that they threw down all their weapons in order to escape. That's the end of today's story. Click subscribe for more interesting stories.